Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of. We all know it. It's called the Greeks. They are the fanciest and and the best culture that the humans have ever created in their lives. We always honor them, respect them. They are the birth of the entire world's uh, modern day nations, Greece. Okay. Anyways, guys, uh, we're coming back to you guys from an episode where uh, we are just fighting the Egyptians casually. Um, and apparently I'm supporting my men. Why am I doing that? No. I have no man anymore, so I'm not even going to try to. But yeah, we were fighting. We're fighting against the Greeks, and they are, you know, being very Greekish and destroying me pretty hardcore. Like, it's, it's not even funny how badly they've destroyed my army. But then again, I really didn't have an army, so it kind of makes sense. Um, in fact, I still can't build any soldiers in any of my main towns. But, um, the British, the good thing though, the good news is, out of all of this, the British are moving up slowly but surely to go in and go take over the Egyptians. Which is the good thing. So eventually, they should be able to end this war with a good, with a good, honest conclusion. Which then means, once we get below, like, 9 infamy, then we'll go to war again, go take more land, and be even more powerful! Because right now, we're moving up in the world, slowly but surely. I mean, it's not fast mobilization that we're moving up in the world, but we are moving up. We are slowly and surely, you know, reconquering all of our land. I mean, we still don't have enough to fight against the Greek. I mean, not the Greeks, the Ottomans, but that's okay. Um, we've completely ignited a crisis with these guys, so, you know, there's not really much I can really do anymore there. What we're going to move on next to is the Algerian Islands. Okay. So, we just have to wait for one of these great powers to think, yeah, we should totally, like, come in and go break up more of these guys. We got exactly the land we needed. Except now our greatest friends have also betrayed us. They went directly for the one island they should not have had. Gosh dang it. Why did they do that? Like, seriously. So, we may have to start increasing our liberation movements down there kind of stinks I didn't want to do that but it seems like it's gonna have to happen um on the brighter news though we do have lots and lots of money coming into us due to all the stuff we've been conquering and finally yes okay we have another event of West Macedonia firing let's hope everyone wants to yes yes okay so somebody did decide to go for it. Austria wants us to gain our stuff let me guess Okay, so Britain wants to go against me, Austria, uh, Prussia wants to go against me, uh, wow, this is, like, the most terrible odds I've ever seen of any kind of thing, so, I'm gonna stop increasing tension right here for just a little bit, start increasing our military people, because we do need a little bit more soldiers in our land. But yeah, this is probably not gonna. This is probably not gonna work. It, the Austrians were a terrible ally to have during this. Like just terrible. I was hoping for somebody more powerful to come in and go step in and might like the French, but they were apparently in their own war for like Polish restoration. Ah, they were in a Polish restoration war. Go figure. And look at that. Oh my goodness, the British would be so helpful right about now. Uh, it's ours. Yeah, it's ours. What do you guys think? Yeah, like I thought. So, yeah, they completely white pieced us. I kind of expected that to happen. It wasn't, like, shocking, you know, because, well, let, let's face it. They had more stuff than we did, and we had less stuff than they did. So, it was just kind of expected that they were going to, you know, flake out on me. But, anyways, um, seems like we can finally build some soldiers. That's good. Um, liberation movements. Probably should start another one again. Um, but it seems like a lot of the nations are starting to get a little bit tired of me always trying to liberate everywhere. So, we're gonna have to start thinking about that when we conquer a little bit more of land. Uh, but the next nation I think I'm gonna go after is Ethiopia. Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Ethiopia. And specifically, what I'm thinking about getting is this place right here in ASAP. Or should I get, or should I go for something else? 
Hmm. Are you guys weak enough? I don't think so yet. I think I have to get nationalism and imperialism before those guys become weak enough for me to conquer them. So yeah, let's just go for Ethiopia. Um, yeah, Algeria is still way too powerful for me to deal with on my own. Uh, yeah, we're getting this pretty quickly. Mission to Ethiopia, what are you talking about? Oh gosh, dang, we are gaining so much infamy. Okay, and sadly we can't release any nations just yet to help us out with that. Otherwise I would, but yeah, well, we're just going to have to keep conquesting because, yeah. That's what we're just gonna have to do. And in fact, I think what I'm gonna go for Ethiopia. I think I'm actually gonna go for population. They're coming for us! Yeah, I think I might actually go for population this time and get like uh military access, maybe. Um they have honestly how many regions? Let's see. Regions wise. Uh but no, I do want I do know there's a gold mining place right here, but population would be nice. How much do you have? How much population do you have? Well, 130. So I wouldn't honestly gain that much population if I did conquer them. So yeah, let's just go for let's just go for land this time. Yeah, call an ally, very likely. Yeah, they're just they're just very likely to join in no matter what we do. Whatever we do, they're always fine with it. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. We could go to war with anyone. They're always fine with it. Only problem is that the British are terrible when it comes to like fighting other people, so we have to really change that. Um, maybe form an alliance with these guys would be pretty helpful. I mean, let me see. Could I even get it up to the point? No, I could not. They basically hate me as much as they're going to hate me. How about you, France? No, because they're actually a great power. So, what about you, Austria? Probably not, because I'm already allied with one. Yep. Okay. But, how about a war with... Egypt, and I acquire some of my cores. Who is that... Who is the... Who is the Ottomans' ally right now? Okay. It's the Prussians, but... The Prussians are... Six in terms of power. Alright, oh, alright, oh, I think I got a plan. Once the Prussians go to war for something stupid, or go to war with France for Alice Lorraine, I think then I'm gonna strike at the Ottomans and steal all my land back. That should make me the most powerful nation in the world, which should give me a massive boost to almost anything I do, which then I will be fully happy. So, but before then, we have to first invade the Ethiopians, well not me invade the Ethiopians, but the mighty British. Um, apparently there's some hostile thing going on. Oh my goodness, they're actually invading me! What the heck? Britain, where are you? Okay, that's kind of weird. Britain's not anywhere. Let's get the weighted wealth so that more people want to come to our land. We will make this the most democratic country possible. Even more democratic than America is. Especially at this time. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the Ethiopians are probably gonna crush me for a little bit, but eventually I think the, uh, British should be able to do stuff. Hopefully. I'm really counting on you here, Britain. I mean, you've saved me in the last couple years. I don't think you guys would lose to a little tiny power. I, that's just not your style. You don't lose. Ever. Like, I've seen you lose. Never. So... It'd be really sad if somehow you just magically lost this time. Like, this time is the one time you guys lose. That'd be really, really, really sad. Like, insanely sad. Oh gosh. And now we got national tension up to 100. But a lot of other things are starting to become 100, so I'm really gonna have to be weary of that. Because now, I think... Intervene immediately. Yeah. I think that was... Yeah. It's a crisis for... Oh my goodness, they had a, they had their own little rebellion. That's good. So now the Ottomans are completely reactionary. They're atheist. Hmm. And right now we're trying and right now people are trying to give Poland more of land. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's gonna work, but they could try it. I mean, it won't hurt anyone but them if they don't succeed. 
I think the British are finally going to send some men over. Maybe, at some point. Maybe not. Oh, no wait, they are sending men over, they aren't just sending them where I wanted them to. Okay, that makes... That kind of gets me to laugh. They're sending it all the way to Naheem, but they didn't send it... Okay. Okay, and let's see, this is not the perfect crisis we need. Gosh dang it. I was actually going to hopefully maybe use this crisis to help us out, but... This is like a terrible crisis to go in if we want to go declare war on the uh, Ottoman Empire. Because, let's be real here, this is going to crush this pretty hardcore. Like, not even, like, fakely determined. That's going to pretty much destroy them pretty quickly. Anyways, they conquered a little bit of my land. Let's see, we got <laughs> we got the land anyways. And now we're starting to cost us a little bit more. I'm going to put down costs just a little bit. Still have absolutely no military to speak of. Okay, we are increasing our education by a lot, which means our research is starting to go up. Which is what we need to do, because we are more of a researcher-e nation. Researcher-e nation, that's a good word right there. Okay, next we need to do is go back to industrial, go to experimental roads. Let me see, do I want to do that? Yes, I do. Go to experimental roads, and we're going to start making some railroads. Alright. Uh, yeah, Prussia's completely crushing them, as I thought. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Would they join in still? I'm thinking about it, guys. I'm thinking about this to see if this is maybe the war we want to go for. I'm not sure, though. I, I don't think it is. I don't think it is the war we need to go for to, you know, go conquer all the land we need to get. I think we still need to wait a little bit, just be patient, just a little bit more, and we'll soon have it. But we just need, like I said, we just need to be patient. Uh, Alcatraz, no parole. Give me some more prestige. Yeah, we just, we just need to honestly be more patient with the... Uh, wars and stuff and eventually eventually we'll get to the point where we can start invading and getting all of our land I mean the British are basically already over there but we need to find you know more helpful allies I wish you guys would say yes to alliance with me but no okay yeah these guys are gonna lose pretty hardcore I'm just waiting I'm just we're just we're honestly just waiting for them to die because <laughs> they're gonna lose pretty badly and Spain Spain's out of the war, that's good. Oh, the war ended! Ooh, what was the spoils? Belgium got a little bit of the Netherlands. Hmm. Pretty typical stuff. And great powers wise, USA is back up on top! USA, USA, and USA! And it's almost completed Manifest Destiny, it just has two more regions, or two more states. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really feeling particularly war-hungry right now. I think we really just gotta concentrate on relaxing and not going to war for as long as possible. In fact, since I am planning on going to war with the Ottomans and waiting for just the perfect time, we should probably start focusing- no, it actually wouldn't help us, never mind. I was, I was about to say we should start focusing on trying to build our own factory, but it would not help us in any way, shape, or form, because if we try to build one factory, First of all, we can't even build a factory, and second of all, we wouldn't be able to support it. We don't even have enough, uh, what was it called? Craftsmen to do anything. Uh, yeah, 0% of our population is craftsmen. And honestly, we don't have a good enough population base at this point in the game to do much. So yeah, just increasing relationships is still good. Uh, what we could still start doing is, let's see, military, no. We need to start working a little bit more on this. Let's get some more taxes. Alright. Uh, let's start. Now that we have experimental railroads, we can now start building some railroads. I mean, I don't expect us to build a lot, but at least some. So, let's just build as many as we can. There we go. That's our railroad empire. Yeah. Look at that. That was our railroad empire. So cool. Like, it was like... 
three provinces and we had we had lots of railroads and you know stuff and apparently Prussia went to war against somebody to liberate West of Hagen mm. now this would have been a perfect war to go against France against a uh, go against France with but sadly I'm still gonna have to wait I'm just gonna have to wait until there is the right time for France to be at war with somebody bigger okay and we can always at some point we can always have the likelihood chance that they might the crisis might fire off and we might actually be able to gain all this territory free there is also that chance in fact you know what let's just since I already got to 100% let's just increase some capitalists in our country I think we honestly do need some capitalists in our country like seriously we have Four capitalists, eight capitalists, ten capitalists. Yeah, they're increasing nine capitalists. Whoops. You guys pay absolutely no tax, so don't worry. I will not tax you guys. The eight people that actually are rich in my country, I will not tax them. Because I actually do need them. Okay. Uh, prestige better. Gives us a little bit more of a boost to our empire rating. Which is not the best right now, but... Well, not the worst. Okay, pacifism... Jinduism! There we go! Upper house has been assembled! Factory French relations! God dang, the French just keep winning the elections. I don't know why. Oh, finally! Something is finally being produced! It's produced in the wrong place, though, so I'm not going to support it. Um, but capitalists are starting to be produced in my country. This is exciting. This is really, 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 really exciting because now capitalists are starting to be produced. Oh gosh dang, that's so exciting. Capitalist! Um, seriously wonder if I should go to war with France. I probably shouldn't. I have to wait for them to be tied up in some kind of other war before you go to war with them. Because otherwise, that's going to be hurtful. And... Yeah, I think other than that, we're just kind of chilling. Luckily, I'm also kind of glad that the uh, British have not gotten me in this sphere yet, which is... Oh, they do have me in this sphere. Oopsie doodles. So that means... So that means that whatever they do, they are... Shoot. Yeah. That means that whatever happens... Hmm. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. Well, let me see. Do I need... Do I need the two islands to really form? Ilkin and stuff. No! I don't need these islands! Oh, thank goodness. So I do not need those islands to uh, do that event, which is good. So that gives me some, some good things happening to me, but still. We are being drained by the British right now because the British are dogs and they like to, you know, do stuff. It's the one disadvantage to having, you know, the British as your ally. They're now going to drain all my money away, slowly but surely, to try to keep me down. It, there isn't much I can really do about it either because <laughs> this is not really my uh, forte. But on the good news side, an eternal crisis has arisen. The crisis is in failed to enlist enough to enthrall. Well, that's good. That crisis was good enough to fire, but still it cost me my entire thing. But yeah, we're in kind of... Why did you... The Ottomans made smart alliances. I don't know how they did, but they made smart alliances to the point of annoying, annoyance. I mean, they have enough smartness to keep themselves from dying. They have enough sense to make sure that we do not catch up to them. The good thing, though, is that we caught up to them a little bit, and we're trying to technologically overtake them. I think we could actually gain a second, um, a second ideological group, which would be pretty nice. Look at that! Look at that! Like literacy rate gain. We got 15. So I think at this point I'm going to start decreasing the amount we tax our lower class. That should help with uh, birth rates and people liking us more, which is the ultimate goal. Alright, and I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a fun, fun more episodes, and 
we really are doing a lot in this campaign. I gotta admit, we're at 1855 and we're already starting to like really push in, destroy everywhere. I mean, it's beautiful and glorious in a sense. I mean, look at that. Look how many places we've already expanded to. Usual places, though, but it's still fun to expand these places. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.